Hello Mzansi. It is Monday, April 25, 2022 and here is sports highlight. Pedri Wannenberg, teenage driver traveling at this insane speed at time of crash. The teenage driver who fled police and ended up causing a mass pileup in which former Springbok Pedri Wannenberg died, was reported to be traveling at 100 miles 160 km per hour at the time of impact. Wannenberg was 41, died in the multi-vehicle crash in the United States over the weekend after a high-speed police chase ended in tragic circumstances. As first reported by the South African website, a family member confirmed that Wannenberg died in the accident and that his family was with him in the car at the time of the crash. His 8-year-old son, Francois, is currently fighting for his life in hospital. Pedri Wannenberg's wife Yvette and their daughter Isabel reportedly escaped unhurt. According to local news station KHOU 11, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said a deputy had attempted to pull over a 16-year-old suspect, only for the car to speed away and lead to a chase. The suspect eventually crashed into Wannenberg's car near an intersection. Wannenberg had settled in the USA in 2016, when he became one of the first high-profile South Africans to play on the country's professional circuit when he turned out for the Denver Stampede. Wannenberg played 20 tests for the Springboks, making 20 starts and scoring 3 tries. He made his test debut at age 21 against France in Marseille in November 2002 and played his final test against the All Blacks in Christchurch in July 2007. After his retirement in 2018, Wannenberg coached the Austin Elite Rugby side in North American Major League Rugby. The South African website extends its condolences to Wannenberg's family and friends. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Luke for the South African.